Welcome to Gardening Through the Seasons. I'm Leah Kelly, Consumer Horticulture Specialist with the Mississippi State University Extension Service, and it's June in the garden. So many of our perennials and annuals are in full bloom during this time, and to keep those blooms coming, to keep the garden looking neat and attractive, and to show off the blossoms, a little bit of maintenance is in order. Removing those old spent blooms and bloom stalks is called deadheading. This serves several purposes. It makes the plants look neat and attractive. It stops seed formation, which in most plants signals a decrease in the production of new flowers. And it encourages new flower and foliage formation. How you deadhead really depends on the plant. So let's look at a couple of examples. By mid to late June, your petunias and your verbenas have gotten just a little bit leggy and kind of ragged looking. And what we do to them, I call extreme deadheading. What we're gonna do is cut them back by about a third, and then you're gonna add some soluble fertilizer, and in just a couple of weeks, you're gonna be rewarded with more blooms and more foliage. In the case of daylilies, removing the individual spent flowers not only neatens the plant, but sometimes these old limp dish rag blooms will drape over an unopened bud and it inhibits its opening normally. Removing these will ensure that buds will open properly. In the case of Stella deora and some of the other repeat blooming daylilies, removing the seed pods that form will encourage a more prolific repeat bloom. Removing the spent flower stalks of hostas probably won't make them rebloom, but it sure will neaten them up. Now, if you do remove the blooms of plants like zinnias, marigolds, cleomies, snapdragons, and butterfly bushes, that will encourage a repeat bloom. Having to individually remove flower stalks can be really time consuming. So if you're the impatient type and want to get the job done quick, you can, depending on the plant, Take a pair of pruning shears, just like these, or hedge clippers, and you can go in here and quickly cut this plant back. And yeah, you're going to take off probably some of the new growth with some of the flower buds, but hey, you're going to get the job done quick, and it will regrow. Now, you can do this type of cutting back like this to encourage new bloom on plants like the butterfly bush, cat mints, uh, the dianthus, the yarras, rosemary, lavender, and many others that have numerous bloom stalks that are too hard to do individually. So it's a quick and easy way to get those flowers back. The June garden in Mississippi is one of the showiest for blooms, and a little snip, cut, or pinch here or there will keep those blooms coming, keep the garden looking pretty and neat right on into late summer and fall. I'm Leah Kelly, and this has been Gardening Through the Seasons.